Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth. This is uh, Seamstressed Ruth. Thank you very much for watching. We're on uh, vlog number three now. That's quite exciting. Um, I'll let you know what I'm wearing today. You can't really see it very well, but it's a Tammy handmade rear dress that I have hacked to be a pinafore style. I'll pop a picture in up here so that you can see uh, the full length. But yeah, it's really nice, comfy. I'll stand up so you can get a good look at the fabric. It's some brushed cotton with these little tiny ditzy flowers on. Um, I bought this, I think I bought this from Abacan Fabrics in Shrewsbury. And I believe when I bought it, I thought I'd make a pair of pyjamas. But I completely changed my mind and instead made this uh, pinafore style dress and yeah quite happy with it um probably a couple of years old now this make and it, it doesn't get worn all that often but when i do wear it i think yeah i like it maybe i should make another one so just a couple of housekeeping uh notices <laughs> before we get right into the video firstly i'm sat quite close to the uh camera today so i know some people had said that they struggled to hear me and i am sorry about that I haven't got a particularly loud voice, I know that. I'm not very good at shouting at the children, which they probably quite like. Um, but yeah, I, I've come quite close so that hopefully you'll be able to hear me okay. If not, you might just need to turn up your TV or your phone because yeah, I've just got quite a little voice. Sorry about that. Um, and secondly, um, yeah, Frank, he's um, not under the desk today. I've given him some some snacks and he's out in the hallway so hopefully we won't have any sort of old man snorry noises going on in the background but if he does come back in at any point and you hear some snuffling or snoring then you know that it's frank um what i'm going to hopefully do is right at the end of the video i'm going to tag on um a little bit of footage of frank so that you um you know who is making the noises <laughs> okay so uh, what have I been making this week? Well, I have actually been quite productive this week. Um, definitely more productive than I expected to be. Um, I've made up a couple of things for Christmas. I am going to enter these into a gift to November. So I'm only going to give you a really sneak peek because I think we're supposed to reveal them on the 30th of November. But they've got this. That's it, that's where you get it. And to go with it, we've got these. There we go, that's it. That's where you get a sneak peek. Uh, I will put the full uh, photo of those on my Instagram on the 30th of November. Um, and if you, if you would like to see them, I can show them in next week's vlog because I think that should be after the 30th of November. So that was two makes there, excellent. Um, I have also cut out uh, another little top, the same pattern as that. Um, it, that was the um, Brindle and Twig vintage sweatshirt and vintage pants, in case you were interested. Um, but I've cut out another one ready to go in this fabric. And this was from Little Legs Fabric. I saw them at the Harrogate Knitting and Stitching Show. Um, so this fabric was one of my purchases from there. I'll show you the rest shortly. Um, it's French Terry. Yeah, loop back French Terry. So that'll be a nice little sweatshirt um, for Christmas. And oh, I had, I had a win. I had a sewing win this week. So I, I think I mentioned in my first vlog that I was struggling with the waistband on the Ava skirt. Well, my I had some help from my lovely friend Adele and I had another go. So I'm gonna go and get it now and show you, bear with me. Okay, I'm back. Right, here we go. So I've made a bright pink stretch denim Ava skirt. Look at that. I really like this, it's so nice. Uh, so I um, shortened it, but not shortened it, hemmed it by a couple of inches and I used a contrasting 
um, colour to hem that up. And I'll show you the back. So the, the back's where I was struggling um, to get the waistband to fit and give me enough room to include the hook and bar fastening. So we've got double darts on the back, a zip, and then a hook and a bar. Look at that. I am so happy, I can't tell you. So thanks Adele, really appreciate your help with that. But it's really snug. I can't work out why it's so much snugger and the one I made previously. All I can say is I'm very glad I made it out of stretch denim because that gives me like a little bit more room, not a lot. Um, yeah, I might need to lose a few more pounds <laughs> to be able to get into this. Um, but yeah, I am really, really happy that I finally got an Ava band to fit. So how did I do it? I um, I did extend the waistband by a good few inches, probably about six inches. Um, and I didn't put any of the notches on the pattern onto the waistband piece at all. All I did was uh, marked the center front of the waistband and then pinned it on from the center out. So when I got round to the back opening, I had a good few inches each side overlap. And that gave me plenty of room um, to do the, um, I don't know what, if there's an, a, I don't know what the term is for how you sew on a waistband. You kind of fold it back on itself, sew it down, trim that excess off and then fold it back. If you've made a skirt before, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about and you know what it's called, but I'm not sure what it's called. Um, but I made sure I had plenty of fabric to give me room to do that with an overlap um, and yeah and it worked so very very happy it's just very tight. Um, I do go to Slimming World um, actually and I have up to this point I've lost about four and a half stone so I think it won't take much more to squeeze into that skirt maybe a few more pounds um, and it'll be, uh, it, I can get it on and zip it up, it is just very, very snug. But nonetheless, I'm very happy. So thank you Adele for all your help um, with getting that uh, project fixed and over the line. So the next thing I made is the uh, carrot fabric. Do you remember that from last time? Well, I was going to turn it into a frayer top. Uh, I lay the fabric out on my table got out the pattern, placed all the pieces on, began to cut them out, got to the neckband, and I thought, hmm, I thought the Freya had a high neck. Anyway, it turns out I had actually cut out the, not the Freya, but the, oh, what's it called? Tabitha, I'd cut out the Tabitha and not the Freya. So I have a carrot fabric, Tabitha top. It's not really carrots, but I just thought it kind of looked a little bit like carrots. Now, this was a really quick and dirty project for me. Uh, I didn't do any pressing, which is quite unusual. I'm usually a bit of a stickler for pressing as I go, but I literally just flew through this. Uh, I did use Mariflex thread on my sewing machine and then uh, finished all the seams with my overlocker. It's not, I haven't hemmed the sleeves yet and I haven't hemmed the bottom yet, but it's almost, almost done, almost ready. I think it would be really nice with a little pair of shorts for a pair of pyjamas, but I'm not quite sure I've got enough fabric left, so I don't know, might just have to maybe get something coordinating to go with it. But yeah, that's just a quick, basic, long sleeve tea. Happy with that? Okay, so on to the good bit. Uh, the knitting and stitching show at Harrogate. I went on Friday and had a lovely day. We set off hmm, about 
7 a.m. pretty early and drove up there. We parked quite nearby, um, just in a multi-storey car park, um, and then it was only a couple of minutes walk from there to the actual conference centre. So I think we got in at about 10.30. Um, I was absolutely dying for the loo by the time we got there, so I couldn't focus on anything. I just had to get in there, get to the loo. But as I was running to get to the bathrooms, I spotted Alison from So Like Dotty, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, there's Alison!" So I, I got, I went to the loo as quick as I could, <laughs> came back out, and she was still where she was um, when I went past her. But she was talking to the girl from uh, Little Rosy Cheeks. And I didn't want to interrupt, so I kind of just stalked her a little bit from afar <laughs> while she was chatting. And then once she'd finished, um, I went and said hello to her. And we had a little chat, and that was really nice. And I, I have to say, she looks amazing. I know she's been, um, she's started to do some uh, sort of beauty and lifestyle um, content on her channel. And yeah, she looks absolutely fabulous. She was wearing a lovely pink and white sweater dress. I think it might have been the the free pattern from Peppermint magazine. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, she looked beautiful. And I told her she, that she looked beautiful too. So that was really nice to see her. As I was talking to Alison, I also saw my good friend Sarah. Um, and Sarah comes to the Staffordshire Social as well so um, yeah it was really nice to see her she'd also come with her husband um, but he'd had the good sense to drop her off and go off and have a nice day looking at cars by himself uh, so she'd come in with the instructions to just give him a call when she was ready to be picked up um, so I thought that was quite a good idea um, my husband Neil um, yeah he I think he had quite a nice day actually um, he let me sort of just walk around on my own for a while. He went and got a coffee and tried to find somewhere to sit down. He ended up finding some lovely things and on our way home, he kept saying to me, did you see this and did you see that? And I said, no, I didn't see any of those things. I was, must have just been blinkered and had my fabric eyes on. So maybe I should have kept him with me and then he could have pointed out all these lovely things to me, but never mind, we had a nice morning. Ah, so what did I buy when I was there? So I've shown you the um, French Terry fabric that I got from Little Legs. Um, to go with it, I wanted some ribbing and they didn't really have any uh, that I felt matched really well with that fabric. So I went to see Jenny at Jenny Stitches and she had this sort of forest green colour. And I thought that went quite well. It's not the exact same green that's on the fabric, but I thought it'd be a nice contrast. We did try the orange, um, and there was another lady who was looking at the, st the stand at the same time, and she kind of very kindly advised me <laughs> against the orange. She said, if I went with orange cuff cuffs and a collar, uh, that's all you would see, just the orange coming towards you. So. I stayed away from the orange and went with the green. Very happy with that. Uh, and then close to Jenny was um, Higgs and Higgs. I think they might have had two stands actually because I also saw them on the way out. Um, and they, well, you know they have lovely fabrics on their on their site. Um, so I had a really good long brows and decided to buy this. This is. Um, bubble, I think it was called Bubble Cord, and I've just bought one metre, and that is going to be another skirt, probably an Ava skirt, now that I've figured out the waistband. So yeah, I'm really happy with that, that was very nice. And then, then I found Lady McElroy. Now, last time I saw them was at uh, the NEC in Birmingham a few weeks ago. And I found it difficult that time to really find anything that I liked because it, I'll be honest with you, it, the, st the stand was a bit of a mess. It was just sort of fabric strewn everywhere and you couldn't really have a good look um, at what there was. 
but it was much different um, at Harrogate. It was all very, very civilised and nicely folded and displayed. And this caught my eye straight away. And I thought, oh, I haven't seen that before. Is that new? And it was still wrapped up in uh, the sort of plastic packaging. So I sort of made a little hole and had a little stroke of the fabric. And I thought, oh, that looks and feels lovely. Uh, and I shall show you. It is Dobby Viscose. So I'm really hoping that you can see those little sort of dobby flecks in the fabric. It's so nice. The colours are lovely. And I think it goes quite nicely with with that green from Hicks and Hicks. Maybe? Maybe not. But anyway, I saw that and I didn't even look at anything else. I just thought, yeah, I've got to have it. It's so nice. So then I had to decide how much I wanted. It was, uh, the show price is 15 pounds a metre. So I thought, okay, do I want three metres so I've got enough for a dress? Or do I want two metres enough for a, a blouse or a shirt? Couldn't decide. I stood there for about two minutes stroking it <laughs> and trying to decide what I would want to make with it. And in the end, I said, I'll have two and a half metres and then that's kind of flexible. I could probably make a dress and I could definitely make a top. So there we go. I've got two and a half metres of that lovely Lady McElroy fabric. And I love it. It's so nice. Uh, that was, oh, I did buy something else actually, not fabric. It was a gift for my secret Santa that we're doing at the social. So obviously I can't show you that, but hopefully the person I'm gifting it to might show it to you in one of their vlogs coming up soon uh, after we've had our Secret Santa reveal. Um, what did we do after that? So after we left the show, we went to uh, the very lovely Betty's Tea Rooms, which is actually just around the corner and up the hill from the convention centre so it wasn't far at all. Um, there was a queue so we probably queued up for about 20 minutes but it was it was absolutely worth it. Uh, they showed us in, we had a lovely table right next to the window, it was beautiful, it was so nice in there. Um, all the staff were lovely, we had a very nice waiter uh, who was very funny making us laugh uh, and yeah we decided to order the festive afternoon tea. Uh, I'll pop some pictures in so you can have a look. It was so yummy, so yummy. Um, we didn't have any fizz. I was driving and my husband uh, doesn't drink. So instead we opted for their Christmas spiced tea, which was very, very nice. Um, we actually bought a box to bring home with us. And we liked it that much. Uh, so we had a lovely hour in there chatting and eating sandwiches and cakes and then we had a little walk around the town of Harrogate and then decided it was time to drive home. Uh, got home quite late, it was a long drive home, we had to stop and charge the car halfway back um, but yeah it was a really nice day and then when I got home I'd had uh, another delivery which I was so excited about because you've probably seen this fabric, it's been all over um, the internet lots of the you know lovely fabric shops have had this in and i saw it on um, beyond the pink doors live not this sunday just gone but the one before uh, but i think even by the time the live was on it had sold out so i missed out on it there and then i saw it pop up on instagram and sarah from simple life fabrics had got some and i saw it immediately went on the website and bought some and then shared it in my stories and then went back on there a little bit later and I think she'd sold out as well so um, yeah it's really really popular you've probably seen it but I shall show you it is this Nerida Hansen cotton voile and I've gone for this blue colour and it's got these ladies on 
doing all different kinds of things. So going shopping, walking the dog, have got some flowers, got a nice drink. Yeah, I think I've got two meters. Did I get two? I think I got 1.5 actually, 1.5. No, I didn't, I definitely got two because I thought I could make a nice long sleeve shirt out of it. And although it's quite lightweight and it is getting cold, um, I'll be able to wear a vest top underneath. So really happy with that. And actually, this is a much better match, isn't it? With that. Yeah, that's better. So that was my um, day at the Knitting and Stitching show and my lovely parcel that was waiting for me when I got home. Okay, so plans for this week coming. Um, you're probably sick of hearing me talk about this fabric godmother fabric now, but you will be pleased to know that I have finally made a decision on what it's going to become. So I'll remind you of the fabric in case you've forgotten, but it was this one that I bought from the Knitting and Stitching show in London. And it's a viscose twill, I have three meters. And I'm going to make the Penelope dress, which is from Hubbarding Patterns. Now, I have never made this before. I've never made any patterns from Hubbarding Patterns before, but um, my friend Adele has. And actually, when we went to the NEC a few weeks ago, she was wearing the Penelope dress and she looked absolutely beautiful. Uh, so I'm going to give that a go. I've printed it off, it's cut out. All I need to do now is cut out the fabric and get sewing. So that is number one priority on my list. Number two is, what's number two? Oh yes, um, it's not a sewing plan, but it's something exciting. Um, I'm sure many of you watch um, Beyond the Pink Door live on a Sunday evening. Um, I certainly do. It's become a bit of a Sunday evening ritual. After dinner, tidied up, children have gone upstairs. Uh, I watch Andrea. And she mentioned this Sunday just gone that she had 20 extra advent calendars. Um, so that was very exciting. And the way to get hold of one was to send an email in to a special email address that she'd created and then the following day at about five o'clock she would do a draw and the 20 people who were lucky enough to have their names drawn would be emailed and advised that they'd got a calendar and guess what i got one i'm so excited i have never had a sewing advent calendar before uh, in fact i haven't had an advent calendar for a long time really i just usually buy them for the children and for my husband which reminds me i need to get on with that because i haven't got many calendars yet so i better get on with that i think it's the 22nd yes the 22nd today so i better get on and get those ordered um but i'm so excited so hopefully that will arrive pretty soon and then i shall be able to um to start opening that from the 1st of december now, I'm not going to do Vlogmas, um, I don't think I'm quite ready for that yet. I'll leave it to the experienced vloggers uh, to keep you entertained, but um, if you want, I might show you week by week what I've had in my advent calendar. Um, but I'm sure you'll have seen other people opening theirs, so you, uh, you definitely won't be left out. Um, is there anything else? I think that's probably it for this week. Uh, so yeah, next week I'm going to be wearing this, that's my promise to you, I'm going to be wearing this dress. I've got to do it now, haven't I? So as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this, I would love it if you would give it a like, it would really make my day. And yeah, have a lovely week and I will see you very soon. Bye! Just quickly popping back on to give you a small channel shout out please go check out jemima london 
She's a lovely lady. She's got quite a few videos on her channel, but not too many followers. I really enjoyed her vlog about going shopping in Walthamstow Market. So if you fancy seeing what bargains she found, go check her out. Jemima London. Thanks. Hi. Do you want to say hello? Hello. What have you got there? <laughs> what is it? Oh, you got your toy? Nice. There you go. Now you can see how noisy it is. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Give me a bath. That's very nice. Thank you very much. Should we do it again? Go on. Can I sit down? I think he just wants to sit on my lap now. Is that it? Is that all we're getting? Do you want to say hello to people? Frank. 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 <laughs> Hi. Hello. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, I love you too. Oh, I love you too.